Hey, welcome to a new video. My name is Jessie and today I'll be sharing a fresh summer no foundation makeup look using some cream blushes that I've fallen in love with over the last few months. And for me, the most important thing when it comes to no makeup makeup is to look fresh and really awake using minimal products. And I find natural looking blushes is the best way to do that. And I absolutely love liquid and cream blushes because of how well they blend and how kind of dewy and fresh they look. I've reviewed a few of my channels so far, including the Rare Beauty blushes and the Merit uh, cheek balms. But these days, especially the summer, my skin has gotten like really oily and breakout prone. So I needed cheek products that were kind of less emollient, like less dewy, less oily, um, and a bit lighter. I also need them to be long lasting, especially um, with all the masks mixed in with the sweat and the humidity. So yeah, that actually brings me to these blushes that I've been really loving. I was so excited when this new Korean makeup brand called Fui um, reached out to me to try their launch collection of cream blushes and lip tints. If you didn't know, I am Korean, so I really like supporting like Korean skincare and makeup brands when I can. So I've been trying their products for the past couple of months and I've been really impressed by their quality. And the whole theme behind the brand Fui is that they wanna bring joy and happiness to their customers when they use the products. And their logo kind of looks like a smile, which is super cute. So let me tell you a bit about these blushes and then we'll get on to the application and wear test. These are the blushes and they're a really unique formula unlike anything I've really tried before. It's like a hybrid of a cream and a powder and the brand describes it as like a jelly formula. When you press the product with your fingers, it's actually slightly like bouncy, but your finger doesn't like melt or sink into the product like it would with most cream blushes. Feels almost like, like a very firm marshmallow or like clay. It's kind of hard to describe, but I was really like intrigued when I first tried it because I wasn't sure how it would like apply to the cheeks, but it was actually quite easy to use, which I was pleasantly surprised by. The blushes are actually really nicely resistant to water, sweat, um, oil, and like friction, especially from masks. So it's perfect for daily use, especially in the summer. And because I don't wear foundation every day. Um, it's been really nice applied to like bare skin. It didn't melt off my skin or kind of like come off in patches when I wore a mask, which is kind of hard to find with cream blushes. So the shade I have here right now is called Before Blushing and it's like a really nice nude neutral shade. I'm gonna start applying this shade with a small synthetic contour brush. It can actually be used with pretty much any tool. I usually apply my blush with a brush or a sponge, but you can also absolutely use your fingers and it works just fine. So right now on my skin, I have some sunscreen obviously, and then um, some concealer around my breakouts and red spots, primarily on my jawline here. And I have a light dusting of translucent powder just to set the sunscreen shine. And then of course I do have my brows on. So this is basically like my minimal summer makeup. Just starting kind of on the high points of my cheeks and blending it out. So that's kind of one layer of the shade before blushing on my cheeks. And this has been just my go-to blush when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup that day, but I still want like a pop of color to make my face look a bit more vibrant and awake, especially for like Zoom meetings and stuff. And I find the texture and the pigmentation make it really easy to use, especially if you're kind of new to like non-powder blushes. It's pretty hard to mess up because they don't spread like super, super far on the skin like some other cream or liquid blushes do. So for me, I kind of like build it along um, like my cheekbone there and feather it out ever so slightly so it doesn't look like just like a block of color on my face. And you can see it looks like really natural. It almost gives like a blurring effect on the skin, which I love because I do have oily skin and I want my pores to look kind of smooth and flat. I also have some like closed comedones, like little bumps and some slight acne scarring on my cheeks and I find it doesn't really accentuate them or like make them look darker, which I also love. It just kind of smooths over them and makes it look really kind of seamless. And I will swatch these all later on in the video so you can see straight up what the color looks like. But while we're here, I'm just gonna take one of the brighter shades. It's called Sunshine Guava. And I'm just gonna pop it on kind of like the apples of my cheeks to 
add a bit more color. I love this shade and I just love how it doesn't accentuate my pores at all. So there's the second color popped on. So I will check back at the end of the day to show you um, how well the blush lasted throughout the day. And I'll also be like wearing a mask on and off throughout the day, which is like the ultimate test for any makeup product. I will insert that footage right now. I just got back from my day running errands and meeting up with a friend. And I have to say my blush looks pretty good. Transferred a little bit where the seam is a bit stiffer and it kind of touches my face and rubs when I talk. Um, and here you can see like my, even my concealer and powder kind of transferred a little bit, but the blush, so this area here, transfer that much. The first shade you just saw is called Before Blushing. It's a really nice nude apricot kind of shade. The next shade is called Sunshine Guava. It's a nice coral shade that I find really brightens up my complexion. And this would work really well for both like neutral, warm and cool undertones. It's probably my favorite shade right now and it works really well combined with Before Blushing, so that nude shade. The third shade is called High Key Happiness, which is super cute. It's a nice cool toned hot pink that's like really in these days. And I also like adding a dab of this to the center of my cheeks when I want like a brighter, more fresh looking color. And the last product in the cheek collection is this highlighter kind of product called Diamond One Carat. It has kind of like bigger silver iridescent shimmers in it. And I tried it on my eyes and it's actually really nice, like just kind of on the inner corners and on the center of the lid. And if you're like going out or if you're like going like dancing or clubbing or something like that, I think this would be really pretty. And also if you pop it along your collarbones, it's really nice. So Free also has really nice like lip tints. They're called the suede lip tints and I can definitely review them in a separate video. And I'm actually considering wearing one of the shades on my wedding day because they're really like long lasting and creamy. So I hope you enjoyed this review on Free's blushes and how they look for no foundation makeup looks. You can check out the description box for more information about their products and they actually just started shipping out to the US and Southeast Asia and hopefully it'll be available in more countries very soon. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what cream blushes you're loving and which shade of these that you liked the most and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!